Hi, this is Gali Gofarm, and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling clean, because today our quote of the day is, Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. By Carl Brandt Bard. Now, today I will cover the subject of overcoming addictions. Addictions waste your life, they ruin your health, they clear out your pockets and leave you feeling bad and worthless. Addictions are so powerful over us and the worst part is that when we try out an addictive substance or behavior with the potential to become addictive, we do not realize the power that we, they will have over us. We say it will never happen to me. I, I, I will overcome it, I am strong, and all of the other lies and um, mistruths that we tell ourselves. We use addictive substances to get us into a good mindset, to be more popular, and to look good in the face of others, and to help release us from tension and other behaviors that do, we do not feel that we have the ability to cope with. Perhaps in the beginning of our addiction, we may have even benefited from these uh, um, addictive elements. Some drugs will make you more creative and better at sports or um, better at music in the beginning. And gambling in the beginning, perhaps the first games you were winning. And with alcohol, you become more relaxed and outgoing and fun and courageous and confident and conversational. And uh, cigarettes all are believed to have the same effects as well. But, so at first, the addictive elements may help you overcome difficult behaviors that you hold that are stopping you from being who you really want to be. In the beginning, the addictive substances or behaviors allow you to be that perfect version of yourself, but this state is not real. To reach a certain level of consciousness and a level of integrity and success, you must go through the hard times, the, the trials and errors. You must fail and... Uh, do the hard work. All of these things will change you into becoming that person that you desire to be. And addiction is basically only a shortcut to making you feel that way. But this feeling is not real and it's transient and, and no shortcut is worth taking. In the beginning, all addictions make you feel that you are or you may be that ideal version of yourself when you are taking them. But deep down inside, you know that you are not there. And when the addictive element wears off, then you are faced with reality and the reality is not what, it would, what you would like it to be. And then the circle goes on and on and on. Hundreds of thousands of people have their lives ruined due to addictions. And the craziest thing is that you do not want to stop. You know that your life is on hold. You know that you are not doing anything with your life except for focusing on your addictive element. And you know that your money is also going down the drain. Even if you owe it to other people, you know you use this money for your addictive element and it goes down the drain. And you know that this addictive element is ruining your life. But the reason you keep going on with this addiction and you can't stop is because you don't want to face reality. You don't want to do what you know you need to do to move your life forward. And you are afraid of living and of succeeding or of not succeeding. You are afraid of coping and you are afraid of your real self. And this is very sad since most of the people who go for addictions are perfectionists and usually they are the most creative and most sensitive people. And they are very promising people with very high potential. And they also know that they have the skills that can get them very far in life, but they are afraid of doing what needs to be done. They are afraid to take the leap or they are afraid of change. We have to first understand that addictions are not habits. They are slavery. And people who are addicted are slaves. Some people uh, stay in, addicted, in addictions because they say that they are bored. But cigarettes, alcohol, junk food... They are not interesting in themselves. So following with this addiction is burning your time, your precious time in your life. Without the addictive element, you may feel empty. But actually, when you stop the addiction, you are actually returning your body to the balance that existed before the addiction. 
Therefore, all addictions must be stopped or else the cycle is always there. The addictive element enters the body because we crave it. And then the cravings stop because we took them in. And then the addictive element leaves our body. And then we need some more of this addictive element again and again. And the circle goes on forever or until we stop it. For addictions, such as eating disorders or sex, it is hard to stop all at once, especially since you have to keep on eating. And usually having a sex in uh, life is, is a normal part of your life and you cannot stop doing these. And But for other addictions like alcohol, drugs, coffee, cigarettes, and any other addictive element, it is best stopped or lowered until it can be entirely removed. In these cases, the caffeine, the nicotine, the heroin, the alcohol, the sugar are behind these addictions. But there is also a behavioral reason behind every addiction. And this is what makes it so difficult to stop the addiction. It is the behavior behind the addiction that makes it so hard. It is the fear of emptiness and insecurity and the boredom and the cravings that keep people addicted. And if you think of it, people who drink coffee, smoke, take drugs, gamble, or do anything else that is addictive, have the whole night where they are not using the addictive element or they are not following the addictive behavior. They do not smoke, overeat, drink coffee, drink uh, alcohol or gamble or take drugs during the night when they are sleeping. They, they are sleeping. Or also when a person is doing other things, they are not doing the addi addiction at that time. So overcoming this uh, addiction is possible and it can be coped with the only thing that needs to be done is first of all to make the decision it is the fear that you have that you may have nothing to do uh, with the stress and other ongoing feelings that will keep you addicted but you can cope only when a person removes all addictions is one truly free and can know real health real wealth real self-respect and real self-esteem and happiness. And when you are addicted, you will never know these for real. The addictive element takes away all your courage and your confidence and basically your life. It is like being in a relationship with a narcissist. They, keeps, they keep harming you, but you stay around because they make you feel, they make you believe that you need them. Well, you don't. If, if your addiction is one that is harming your health, you know it but you are not willing to look the facts in the face. Remember that you have one body to take you through your life and you need to care for it. There are cravings that are going on below the surface of consciousness that increase your stress levels compared to someone who is not addicted to anything. So you have this level of stress all the time ongoing in your life every time you are addicted to anything compared with someone who does not have any addiction. So they have a much lower level of stress to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now to, so therefore you have to, to overcome your addiction, you must get on your mind different things. So what do I do? What do I recommend? I recommend that you write a list of things that interest you and write them down, write them down on a sheet of paper. And then make the decision that you are never going to do the addictive behavior again. That's it. You just decide from this moment on, you are not going to do it again. And then rejoice your choice. Be happy about it. And look, and then look back at your list of ideas that you can keep busy with throughout the withdrawal period. I personally started writing again when I stopped my eating disorder in 2005. I was writing as a young child and then I stopped for 15 years during my addiction uh, period and then I went back to writing. Don't delay stopping your addiction. Do not, do, do not wait another moment. Do you really want to live your life like you are living with your addiction for the rest of your life? Because that's what's going to happen if you don't stop. You have to stop and you have to stop at one point and to stop it is better to do it as fast as possible because the longer you continue with an addiction, the harder it becomes and it's hard enough as it is. There is no better time to stop than when you started. But the second best time is to start right is to stop right now. Just decide and do it. Most people use the addiction 
to overcome the hard and difficult moments of their lives. Now this must change because you are not using this addictive element to stop these uncomfortable feelings. You have to understand that you can cope with stress in hard times. We humans who are living with much high, or higher stress levels during all of our waking hours for millennia before the agricultural age began. and We had no home. We had no regular food supply. We had no beds, no comforts. Stress was normal to us and we can certainly cope with it today when we stop an addiction. You are much stronger than you imagine yourself to be. You can overcome any addiction for life and enjoy life more than you ever can with your addiction. Alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, they do not make you happy. They make you miserable. Even if you are not willing to admit it, all addictions make you miserable. And when you are healthy and strong and energetic, you can enjoy the fullness of life, the good times and the bad times because you know that you benefit from them all. You're not scared. You have the courage to, to overcome everything. I promise you that you will never, ever, ever miss your addiction once you get rid of it. Except for gambling and sex, I have been personally addicted to practically everything. From cigarettes, alcohol, food, through an eating disorder, I am now free of all of my addictions in my life. And I have never, ever been healthier or happier in my life. I do not drink alcohol and I was an alcoholic. I do not smoke and I was a smoker. I do not even drink coffee and I was drinking 20 cups a day. I do not eat processed sugar, do not take drugs or anything that is addictive. I will never compromise my health and life for these fallacies again and neither should you. Focus on your own life. Do not look around at what other people are doing. When you stop your addiction, you will truly know that all of the addicted people are suffering slaves and that is not you anymore. I wasted 15 years of my life for my addictions and now I'm not willing to waste another moment ever again and neither should you. Now willpower, it will get you past the real cravings for the addictive element if you're uh, addicted to sugar, alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, or any type of drug. And the next part, apart from willpower, is talking with yourself. You have to talk with yourself to get past the behavioral part of the addiction, which is oftentimes the hardest part to get rid of. Therefore, it is best to prevent getting into situations that are triggers to the addiction for you. But if you can't because the addiction is part of daily life, like eating disorders or smoking cigarettes, then talking with yourself is the best route to follow to eliminate any pressure from you. Say to yourself, I really don't need it. I can do without it. It is the substance that has my body addicted, but my brain and behaviors are under my full control. Reason with yourself. Talk with yourself about the benefits. And within two to nine weeks, it will all be over. No more cravings. It will all be gone. It is the behavior that must be controlled for 66 days to ensure that you are really free. And that's it. Then you are free. Talk with yourself about your health, about the money and energy and time that you will spare without the addiction and stick with it. The only reasons you may relapse are because of the environment or the people around you and or when you are having a difficult day. But difficult days are part of life and you have to learn to cope with them. So talk to yourself. Explain to yourself how the addiction will not make the day better for you, but it will rather probably make it much worse. <laughs> now beware. When you stop in any addiction, automatically your mind starts looking to focus on another addiction to fill this void. Don't fall into this trap. I fell into it many times. Don't fall into this trap. Clean out your life and take the reins of control back into your own hands. What also helped me is reading forums of people dealing with my specific addictions where people are trying to stop. I was shocked by how similar we all were and this made me much stronger. You can completely stop your addiction if you stop for one month and then see that you are completely free and that you are happier than you could ever be when you are living with your addiction. You can succeed and you will succeed, and you are really not giving up anything worthwhile. You are regaining your life back. And never call yourself a recovering drinker, smoker, drug addict, or a person with eating disorders. You are now a healthy, alive person who has come free from prison. Your new life has just begun. 
I remember after I stopped smoking, I told my first husband that I had stopped already for two weeks. And he said that he had noticed and he was proud of me. After two weeks, it dawned on me that I was free. I was so relieved and so happy. And this will happen to you too. About two to six weeks after stopping, it will be over with. And this episode of your life is now finished and a new chapter begins. You can do it and you will succeed. Start now and do not waste another precious moment of your life living with this addiction. Instead, it is time to live for yourself. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the questions of the day are, why do I really need this? And do I really need to continue with this? And how will my life be better if I quit this addiction? And can I decide never to do this again, ever, right now? Well, can you? Ask yourself this question. As usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can make sure that your life is moving on track for you to fulfill your life and your dreams. So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, I am strong enough to beat this. I am strong enough to beat this. Tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life and move you to the right track for you. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.